Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Paul. Welcome to my garage and my channel. Um, today I have a giant box in front of me and I'm going to open it up and show you what's inside. It's something new that I've never worked on, probably way out of my depth like most things. Um, so yeah, it'll be pretty fun. It's a little bit of older tech. Great job. Good job there. Oh, cool. That's a bonus. They sent some cords. That gives you an idea. I don't need those, but it's a bonus. Okay, let me adjust the camera real quick, get you a little better shot. I'll try to fast forward through that or something. So as you can see here, I have a, uh, what is this? It's a Pioneer CT1280WR. I couldn't tell you much more than that. It's a cassette player. Um, I haven't used one of these in decades. I don't think many people have. Uh, but people, there are people out there who do use them. They're pretty popular to those people. Hopefully this thing works. I don't know. The, the listing just said untested like most things that I get. That's why a lot of people don't. Um, end up bidding on them a whole lot. Okay, that's awfully uh, sticky. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that. Maybe it is. I don't think so. I think it should probably open when you just press the, you shouldn't have to hold the button, I wouldn't think. That button seems broken, the copy start, I don't know, maybe that's not a button. It seems awfully flush with that, so, whether I just reset my uh, counter, you know. Well, everything seems to work pretty well. All the buttons are, you know, make sound and all of that. They go clicky clacky and... I don't know if you can hear that or not very well, but uh, it does that. So that's pretty cool. I, uh, unfortunately, I don't have a cassette tape. Um, you know, if I still live with my parents, I would. My dad has quite the collection still, uh, but I don't. So the most testing I can do is just plug this in. Okay, we've got lights. Okay, let's uh, turn it off. 
So there's no lights. There's lights. They come on a little bit after. What's this little light here for? Noise reduction, I guess so we're in type C, noise reduction. Again, I, I don't know. There's our record level. Oh yeah. Let's see, what does this, what does this do? Nothing. I mean, I don't know, will it, will it do anything if, oh, here, here we go. Now I changed that light and I can turn it off. I can turn off the noise reduction light. Yeah, I probably won't try to even play if there's not a tape in there, so I don't know. Replay, pause, record, mute. Huh. Well, I was hoping to do a little bit more of this, um, but it's been a while, so I want to put out a short video that's a little something. Um, I'll have to get a cassette and test it out. Luckily, I do have a speaker. I have something that I can hook it up to once I get something to play out of it. Um, so until then, uh, I hope you like the video and subscribe and do all that. And stay tuned for some other stuff. Um, yeah. Sorry, I'm just kind of trailing off here at the end. It's been a long day at work. Uh, so, anyways, I hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned. We'll uh, catch you on the next one, folks. Hey, here I am coming back in uh, a little bit later. Actually, just immediately after. But I figure I should show you the rest of it. I don't know that I gave you a very good view of the thing. So there's the front of it. Maybe a little, yeah, a little scuffed up up here. Not too bad though. I mean, it, overall it's in pretty good shape. Not too many, some little scuffs here and there. Some scratches kind of on that. Fingerprints. The bottom, it's not, it's not a rust bucket. You know, that's good. Okay, so then I have a system remote control. I don't have the remote control, but I could do an input and output. There's that stuff. Here you can see it's a CT1280WR. Um, so if you're interested in a Pioneer CT1280WR, leave a comment down there. And I can show you my eBay. I don't know why I'm trying to sell you anything. Don't listen to that part. Anyways, here's the left and right output, play, and then the input, record. Um, yeah. Just some Phillips screws to get in the uh, case here. I mean, everything turns on, so if everything works, I don't have to take it apart. Um, I don't know. Do I, should I? Maybe I should just go ahead and open it up and see if it's real dusty in there. What do you say? I say okay. Well, this one? You know it. So that's just a Phillips number two. In case you're working on one of these at home, doing a follow along guide. Much more expensive than that Bob Ross guy. Just an easy, you know, some paint and stuff. I guess that gets expensive too. It's a little rare though to find. You just go to Hobby Lobby for the paint and stuff. Can't go to Hobby Lobby for this. No sir. Wondering, does it? There we go. Just a little stuck. I'll 
check out its guts. Pretty interesting, I guess. I have no idea what any of it really does. Uh, that's a transformer, maybe? Yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, I think so. That looks like what's behind my doorbell. So, <laughs> that, that adds up, right? Totally makes sense. Yeah, there's, I guess these are motors for the, for the belts on the cassette deck thing. I don't know. I'll have to look up the terminology for this stuff. I don't know. You don't call it a disc tray because it doesn't play discs. Anyways, that's a uh, Pioneer, um, PD 3089A. That's a big chip, so probably one of the main ones. There's another, there's a Pioneer, or no, that's a Sony 8H77X20187. If you know what that, any of that means, leave that in the comments as well. And if you know why there's this thing here, can you see that? If you know why there's that thing, tell me down in the comments because I don't know what it is or what it's for. It's just a, looks like just a pointless piece of metal sticking up out of there. Um, oh, but it's got a screw, it's got something screwed into it. Maybe that's an antenna, but this doesn't, I don't. Yeah, if you know, let me know down in the comments there. And stay tuned, I will uh, definitely show you when I get a, a test, a tape to test this. I wonder what that does. Oh, that's the counter. Okay, yeah. Because the reset button's right on the other side there. And the record counter, whatever. Whatever it is. Anyways, pretty cool. I think. It all seems to be working okay. It's not full of dust, so that's good news too. Oh yeah, and stay tuned too because I've got another one of these coming. I, um, this is a, I think the other one's a Kenwood? I don't know. Stay tuned and find out, but we'll, uh, until then we'll catch you on the next one. Whatever it is, I say. <laughs>